Trusco is a Namibian microfinance and insurance company and was founded in 1992 by Quinton van Royen. Exactly. A sizable player though, Trustco, listed here and on the Africa section of the bourse. Market cap 2.8 billion rand. Price earnings ratio 8.49. Dividend yield 1.89%. Uh, How much do you know about Trusco? Not too much, but I know what they do. And they, um, they combine, you know, sort of mortgage lending, student lending, um, group lending and, and deposit taking. They involve lending in, across the board exactly. is what you're saying. So they've got a very high margin. They've also got exposure to sort of different things. They've got property development mm -hmm. in there. They've got um, um, airspace, um, you know, um, aircrafts and things like that as well. So it's, it's it's quite averse. Um, the, the margin, as I said, is, is high. It's just short of 90% the net margin. Oh, it's 30% rather. Um, so, yeah, it's, that's what micro lenders do. Paul, you're yeah, going to add to me a acquisitions. Uh, Fides Bank at some point, and then also now announcing some sort of deal mm. with something called Huso, whatever that is. So it's Namibia based, right? So it's in Vintook and it operates in that market, which is a small market, but it has some potential. But look at the share price. Mm. So yes, everybody's yes, so been quietly disparaging about these kinds of companies, but its share price has gone up and up and up from, you know, one rands a share to two rands mm. to three rands, and now. You know, here we are with a market cap of 2.8 billion. So yep. you're saying don't discount the Trusco story. But I would have to say that I would uh, hesitate to be, uh, you know, openly and hugely supportive because I don't really have a good feel for what the real expansion potential is in the Namibian economy. It doesn't sound as though you're going to be openly supportive. No, I agree. Of, I think of um, this story. micro lending as such is also something that I'm very um, sort of uh, careful to get involved with. I think it's a, we know it's a business model that's worked well, but again, you know, there's a lot of bad debts when it comes to those sort of things. Um, I don't say and I don't know whether Trustco has experienced the same, but I agree with Paul. I think it's in a, in a very sort of um, enclosed market area where, where the, the growing opportunities from here on can't be as, um, as exciting as the share price have performed. Hot or not? I'm not hot on this. Not hot, Paul? Yeah, one final observation is that Quinton van Rooyen and his family are the dominant shareholder, yes. and so the dividend distributions are sort of entirely dependent on what they decide from one reporting period to the next is, you know, beneficial or otherwise to them relative to the company. So I think if you buy these kind of companies, you do have to know a little bit more than just mm. a hot. peripheral view. So hot I'm going to go with not hot, not hot, not for how well that does.